Hi there and welcome to the next lesson. Now we are close to finishing and exporting our prototype. So let me show you some options that will allow you to preview this on a real device and also export it to the Envision platform so that you can do even more. Okay, so let's have a look at those little icons here at the top. The first one is preview and you obviously know preview, but let's get into preview one more time. Let's press command P and well, here you can change some options. For example, you can change the device and if you have those responsive options set up, uh, this will obviously adapt to a new device. And if this device that you're looking for is not here, you can check for its resolution and you can select resizable or just change the pixel dimension here. Now, if you go to those three dots at the top right corner, you can rotate the device and also go to the home artboard. We've already tried it. This is pretty important shortcut. You can also zoom, but you can do it with command plus and command minus as well as you can go to the background color and set it according to the default uh, colors that you have in the document or in global colors, but also you can set whatever background you want. So. Okay, this looks so much better right now. It saves your sight, you know. So let's now get back to Envision. And uh, this little second icon that I want to uh, talk about is share to Envision. So you can share the prototype or you can mirror this on your device. So let's first explore this mirroring option. And this basically helps you to preview this on a real device. If you have the Envision app installed from the App Store, it's as easy as entering this app and here uh, you will have to log in and you'll have uh, all your prototypes. Well, what you need to do is click on this little um, QR code icon at the very bottom and then it's enough to just, you know, find this QR code with uh, your camera and now we are linked to the, uh, to the prototype. So we can uh, click on the prototype, we can swipe left or right and we can obviously select some icons. So this is fully working prototype and I strongly encourage you to work with such prototype uh, on a device and to have your device connected at all times during this uh, process, design process. And this is simply because it's so much easier to design that, that way. You can see if the font size is appropriate, if the, the elements are not too small or too big for the device. Obviously, if you want to create a mobile app or a responsive app, this will transfer to different screens and devices. But still, I think it's it's really worth it to just have it connected at all times and just preview from time to time. All right, now let's explore the second option, which is prototype. And this option basically lets you export this to an Envision platform, which gives you a ton of possibilities. So let me first uh, choose this prototype. I, I don't want uh, to select existing prototypes. You can select existing prototype and then add some screen to these prototypes or simply update the version of the prototype when you change something inside of studio but what i want to do is create a new prototype so mm, i'm going to select this little plus icon and this is a rapid prototype so let's uh, stick to this name uh, i can also select the account if i have more than one account private or corporate accounts that i have linked uh, here i can select whatever account i want to publish under and then i can simply publish this prototype. This will take a while and now all the screens are sent to uh, the Envision Cloud and uh, what I can do is simply click on this little link to just preview that in the browser. So let's quickly jump to the browser and here we have the prototype. So what we can do here is use the arrows on the keyboard to uh, navigate through the screens but the most important option is being able to just click on the prototype. So we can click uh, on the account and then we can swipe left or right and we can obviously click on the uh, bottom bar and then this is scrollable. So everything works as expected and this is really cool. Even the background is the same So as we've said in uh, studio. So this is really nice and uh, that's not all because you have a couple of handy shortcuts here. For example, if you press H, uh, you're just going to hide this bottom bar and I'm going to talk about it in a second. And you can also go to the full screen mode, which is F on the keyboard. And if you go to full screen, it's pretty nice and clean. If you want to present it in front of the board or I don't know, on presentation, this is really nice uh, to have this uh, kind of view. So let's press F one more time to go back. Now let's explore those modes. We are currently in the play mode. This is P uh, on the keyboard but we can switch between mm, this uh, comment mode as well as the inspect mode. So let's first go to the comment mode. Let's press C on the keyboard 
And if you are logged into your Envision account, and you can as well have uh, the free Envision account, you can comment uh, by clicking on the elements of the layout. So if you want to change this particular uh, button, so let's say let's change the gradient to red, you can do so and you can post it. Then you can have a discussion and the, the users of this project are being notified uh, of those comments. Then you can edit or delete this comment or simply reply to this comment. Let's say OK and then let's add some emojis. OK, uh, rage uh, emoji to the OK. It means something. Well, let's post it. Now, uh, if this is done, you can resolve it. So let's click on resolve. And voila, we have uh, this little icon. So this is how you add the comments. Uh, you can also go to the inspect mode, but this will be boring for this screen. I'm going to show you on our previously made prototype in a second how it works. And uh, what you can also do is share. I mean, just copy the link that we've already copied. And you can go to different screens of this prototype, or you can show all the screens by pressing S on the keyboard, like so. You can search for a particular screen or just go to this screen's preview. Now, if you click on the Envision logo, you will have the access to your account and all the projects that you have. And here I have this uh, car rental project that uh, we've previously uploaded. And I mean, I've previously uploaded it, so I can now preview all the screens from this project. Now, let's pause for a second and let's go back to this original studio file that we have so that I can show you how do you export graphic assets from within studio. Well, this is uh, super easy. So you select any of the assets or you can select a group and then you click on this little export button. So if you select one asset and click export, it's as easy as exporting this in different formats. But what you can do is you can select multiple items like so, just shift click to select them, and you can export all of those layers. Now, what this will do, it won't merge them in one uh, graphic, but this will simply export individual graphics. And here I have different SVG files. So this is fully vector, and this is one of the best advantages. You can export groups, layers, you can even select and export artboards. So if you select all the artboards, you can easily export different screens for your app. Now, the different settings that we have here are basically the format of your graphic file. So if you don't need transparency, you'll probably go with the JPEG. And uh, if you do need transparency, you'll go with PNG. And then SVG is basically the best uh, what you can uh, have because this is mainly vector format. So you can use it in um, web uh, applications, also in Android with some libraries, but unfortunately not, not in uh, iOS. But uh, still, you can transform SVG to PDF somehow, or maybe in future in Studio, you could export um, P uh, PDF as well. So following up, if you select any other file format than SVG, so for example, PNG or JPEG, which are bitmaps, you'll basically be able to export them in different sizes. So for example, 2x size, or maybe half the size of the actual graphic that we have. And also you can multiply this export. So you can click on the plus icon to have multiple files exported. So now we have dot uh, five and then we have one x scale and two x scale and take a look at this it automatically applied the suffix for this for our ios um, assets that this is this is at two x and so you can easily apply either a prefix or a suffix of your choice you can simply type it here so this is basically how it works from studio and now let's get back to the inspect mode and uh, now I want to show you the inspect mode because if I go to the inspect mode, you'll see that I have this nice um, panel which will show me all the details about this document colors that I have in studio as well as screen colors. So this particular screen colors are there and you have even gradients and you can copy the hex values as well as you can explore the fonts. You have Avenir in free versions. If you want to dig deeper, you can click on any of the elements and check the info, um, for example, of this text frame. You can copy the text to the clipboard. You can see the dimensions. You can see the appearance, so font family and also alignment and size. And even the line height is here. So this is pretty cool. But if you are a developer and you want to copy this into your project, you can go directly to code. You can basically change the units uh, from pixels to percentage points uh, or whatever. You can uh, change the code to less or SAS or even Objective-C and Android XML. 
and change the color values, for example, to uh, RGBA so that you can change and tweak the opacity. So now you have the CSS for this particular element, and you can obviously select any other elements to copy the code. So probably you're going to need some of this, and uh, just take a look at the class name. If you want to have correct class names, it's enough to give uh, those layers in studio correct names and then they will translate into class names then you have the assets tab and assets will let you generate the um, screens the the png files and jpeg files unfortunately there's not yet an option to export the svg file even from the vector that i have here but what you can do is just export the png in uh, some better quality for example to x size now you can download this file and yeah, let's explore the last um, tab here and preview the layer structure and then you can be precise, very precise with your selections. And even if something is hidden on this screen, you can select it in the layers panel. Sometimes it's just easier. And then you can go to code or assets or info or anything like this. So one more thing I want to explore here and show you is that you can easily select an element and check its resolution. So uh, you can see that this is 47 by 47 and also if you go outside out of this artboard you'll see the dimensions and um, uh, the sizes between this and uh, the edges of the artboard but also the other elements but also if you hover over different elements you'll see the exact spacing between these elements for example 222 pixels between these guys and uh, 4 pixels offset to the left as well as 179 pixels to the top between these guys so this is really nice you can uh, easily check all the sizes sizes and you can basically you can go to uh, where is it uh, let's go to options and let's change units to percentage so that you can see these sizes and spacing as well in percentages so this is pretty cool for a responsive layouts and basically for developer handoff i do recommend you to have your phone connected to studio at all times and just preview it on a real device and then if you are ready to share the prototype and get feedback it's as easy as you know just clicking inside studio and exporting this prototype and if you want to do handoff developer handoff just uh, you know show them this video and they will know uh, what you're talking about so this is it thanks for watching and yeah i see you in the last lesson